KF7 ETX, Charlie November 85, calling CQ and standing by. This is Quebec Romeo, Charlie Mike 88, Vallejo, California. All right, guys, well, it's the 20th of June, 2011, and I thought I would uh, share one of my new ham interests. And, um, well, the question is, after um, talking to the space station, uh, what do you do next? And, um, you know, those were very fun contacts. And I think one thing I liked the most about them is just the rapid activity that was involved in making those contacts. And I sure do miss talking to Colonel Wheelock, November Alpha 1 Sierra Sierra. But uh, this is the time of the year when six meters is opening up, and that'll be through the middle to end of August, hopefully. And I've been very fortunate uh, to make some six meter contacts. It's very exciting. It's very similar in feel that I had with the uh, two meter contacts with the space station, and that is the um, activity. So the band will open up, and before you know it, it closes down, and you just have to sit there and wait, but be prepared to uh, make a contact and listen really carefully to those call signs and write them down. So I, I really like that level of activity. More importantly, I'm making these contacts on my own homebrew six meter dipole. Now I got the inspiration from a great YouTube uh, ham radio operator, Randy K7AGE, K7AGE in California. Now I'll post links in the notes below as well as some uh, clickable YouTube links up above in the annotations to Randy's uh, YouTube channel. Um, I started following him right when I became a ham and I have found him to be very inspirational and more importantly very um, instructional. Uh, a great online Elmer who has inspired a lot of hams. Uh, Randy did a series, I can't remember, it was a number a couple of years ago on six meters uh, he talked about the six meter band, also called the magic band, because it is um, a, um, a, a VHF band that mimics HF uh, characteristics when the band opens up and you can talk long distances. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But uh, the other video that Randy made was a video on making your own six meter dipole and he put it out in a very timely manner right in the beginning of the summer or spring, end of springtime, beginning of summer so that hams could get that antenna made which doesn't take a lot of skill and then get online with uh, six meters and really enjoy that activity. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you my six meter dipole. Now I have a tendency for overbuilding things and I'll apologize for that in advance. But the inspiration for this six meter dipole comes directly from Randy's uh, videos. And I wanna give him a shout out for that and also a big thank you for all of his inspirational uh, videos. And Randy, if you ever see this, thank you very much in 73. So I'll turn the camera around right here and you can see my six meter dipole. I'm gonna do another video on it later on, uh, more into the construction of it. And then we'll go inside and I'll let you take a look at the uh, computer screen as well as the uh, radio. Right now I'm using my Yezu 857 Delta and um, we'll listen in on a few six meter contacts if, uh, if the band opens Okay, up. this is my homebrew six meter dipole. It is constructed around a half inch PVC electrical conduit box. I have a nipple on the top here so that I can add a small nipple and then my two meter, 70 centimeter base station antenna. And it's mounted on the other end with a PVC half inch iron pipe coupler down to my uh, camera tripod. And this gives me the ability to uh, swing this around to maximize the signal. The legs of the dipole are these two stainless steel flexible whips and they merely screw into the end of the electrical box into a quarter 20 bushing that is hooked to each leg of the coax. 
so they screw in very easily and this gives me a nice portable six meter dipole that I can take on the road. Okay, this is my little station right now, my Yezu 857 Delta, a switching power supply and I've got it hooked up to my six meter dipole out front on the porch. CQ 6 meter, CQ 6 meter, KF7 ETX, KF7 ETX. Charlie November 85, Charlie November 85 calling CQ and standing by. Okay, the web page I have my computer open to right now is VHF DX and it's the DX Sherlock real time QSO maps. And I have the uh, page set up for 50 megahertz, which is 6 meters, VHF, and the North America map. This will automatically refresh at a set rate. And what you're looking at right here is North America. And you can see the activity right now on 6 meters as it's being reported. And there's a lot of activity right now in the Pacific Northwest, which is what I'm hoping to listen in on and make a few uh, QSOs. Now you'll see, if you're not familiar with this, this is the Maidenhead grid square system. And we can talk about that in the future, but I'm located right here in Charlie, November 85, Portland, Oregon. So we'll take a listen and see what we can find on six meters, the Have magic band to 50.125, which is the uh, international calling frequency for six meters. Gary and Vallejo, can you come again with your call sign? KF7 ETX, Portland, Oregon. Okay, Portland, Oregon, it's Kilo Echo 6 Quebec Radio. Kilo Echo 6 Quebec Romeo. Copy, Kilo Echo 6, Quebec Romeo. This is KF7 ETX. The name here is David, Portland, Oregon, Charlie November 85. I'm operating a Yezu 857 Delta on a homebrew 6 meter dipole. QSL? QSL, not, not bad at all. It's coming through pretty good, David. Uh, what kind of weather you got up in Portland today? We're about 90 degrees and uh, pretty muggy here. Uh, <laughs> Typical Oregon weather. We are overcast right now. It's a little muggy outside, but uh, overcast as usual. I used to live in um, Santa Cruz, California. I was a fireman in SoCal, so I miss that uh, California weather for sure. Okay, very good. You dropped down to about five and six that time, but you're still doing okay. We're running a uh, 100 watts to four on the Yankee 40 feet. Okay, seven three six four contact. We got a really solid opening. Lots of uh, Oregon and Washington stations coming in pretty good down here. KF7ATX, KE6QR. Very nice talking with you, Gary. I'll send you a QSL card. Look you up on QRZ. Uh, wish you 73. Okay, 73. KE6QR. Moving up. So we're going up to 1.135. Uh, KF7 ETX on 6 meter, uh, Charlie November 85, Portland. <laughs> All right, I guess we don't need 600 watts to see it. Kilo Fox 7 Echo Tango X ray. Hi, David. I'm over here on Bald Peak, uh, so we're eye to eye here, so to speak. What have you been hearing on the bands? Over? Yeah, I'm uh, just actually starting to get into 6 meter um, this, uh, this, uh, this cycle, actually. Uh, I just talked to a gentleman in Vallejo, California, and another one in Arizona. I'm using a Yezu 857 Delta and a homebrew uh, six meter dipole. Well, you sound great over here, David. Uh, KF7 Echo Tango X ray. Well, and it's not this cycle, you know, this is something that happens every year, whether there's a solar cycle or not. So, this is our spring spring summer uh, east skip season so the great part about this band is that this comes around every year regardless of what the solar cycle's up to so hey race not good over here the 857d in the dipole i'm running uh, about six elements at 90 feet kind of looking towards the uh southwest like you were we saw the on the internet that looked like there might have been some propagation so we check it out 
So nice to meet you here, David. Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, K7 Zulu Sierra. Very nice uh, talking with you. I, I have to admit, I think I've got the uh, six meter bug. It's uh, very exciting and uh, I'm a brand new ham. So also very exciting to uh, get out and make those contacts on a homebrew antenna. So yeah, of course, that's always uh, that's the great fun of it. Okay, David, uh, good to meet you. Happy hunting. I don't know back. I usually try and call on the calling frequency, but listen up, like I said, and then just swap VFO so I can attract some attention but stay off the calling frequency, which is just polite uh, etiquette here. But enjoy it while you can. It'll be around for another uh, three or four weeks probably, and then it'll be uh, a little burp over Christmas time, and there she goes. So uh, you need a solar flux of well over 200 to get F-layer propagation, and they're saying that this solar cycle is not going to happen. Nice to meet you. Camp 7 ETX, K7 Zulu Sierra. Have fun. Thank you so much. Uh, and if you could just give me that um, a courtesy tip again, just uh, good operating procedures. I've been uh, listening on the calling frequency, calling out, and then either moving up or down uh, when I make that contact. I'm assuming that's the uh, correct operating procedure. Yeah, well, just depending on how busy the band is, but the calling frequency is there for the purpose of kind of checking propagation and then making an initial contact and then move off. For side band, you always want to move up from there. So at least on my particular radio, the ICOM 756 Pro 2, I can be transmitting on one frequency and listening to two different frequencies at the same time. So I find a clear frequency that I'm going to plan to move to, listen to that, and then transmit on the calling frequency. As soon as I make a contact, we agree, because they're listening on the calling frequency. I've already got a clear frequency chosen to uh, move the QSO up to that frequency. So that's basically what it's all about, Dave. Or Thank you very, very much. I, I, I've been very impressed with how friendly everybody is with giving tips, and um, I just wrote that down, and that will be my operating procedure. Thank you so much. I wish you 73. Okay, yeah, so going up 5 to 10, at least getting at least uh, 6 meters tends to be uh, bleed over a little bit more than low frequency. So 5 to 10 kc at a minimum, somewhere up and up. And, but basically by choosing the frequency ahead of time, you don't have to start hunting for one. You already know where you want to go. And... Uh, the ham community is uh, usually a pretty, pretty good bunch. Welcome to the hobby, David. I think you'll enjoy it uh, for the rest of your life. KF7 ETX, K7 Zulu Sierra. Going to go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Listen here and broadcast on 125 and see if we can get some propagation. K7 Zulu Sierra. Have fun, Dave. Whiskey 7, Golf Juliet Bravo. Whiskey 7, Golf Juliet Bravo. KF7 ETX, Portland, Oregon. Whiskey 6, Golf Julia Bravo. This is KF7 ETX, Portland, Oregon. I heard Santa Cruz. I used to be a fireman in SoCal, so would love to make a QSL. Yeah, you bet. You bet. I have KF7 DX, and uh, you got Whiskey 6, Golf Julia Bravo. I was on the uh, volunteer here in Bonnie for, uh, for over 10 years. Yeah, copy. The call sign here uh, is KF7 ETX, Echo. Tango X-Ray, Echo Tango X-Ray, and I was a paid call firefighter with uh, Central Santa Cruz Fire District. Whiskey 6, Golf Juliet Bravo, uh, KF7 ETX again, just wanted to verify you copied the call sign correctly for QSL. Yeah, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, Grid Square is Charlie, November 85, Charlie, November 85, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, roger that, got it, and uh, yeah, look forward to your card, we'll exchange it.